Reset My House With Me in 2024. Here we are with another full house reset after being sick. I just posted a clean with me after sickness probably just a couple weeks ago and my kids have been sick yet again. Luckily it didn't go through the whole house. It was mostly just my son Asher. I have a two almost three year old boy and a one almost two year old girl and um, they are a handful of course and they get sick quite often during the sick season but they're also so helpful and fun and they're starting to really play together and play independently and I just wanted to share some intentions for the year as I clean through my home so I'm a stay-at-home mom I'm a homemaker and I want to start being a little bit more intentional on this channel with cleaning videos and motivational videos, I guess. Um, so I've been doing a lot of decluttering. I'm kind of on this minimalism journey. Um, I've said that a couple of times. It sounds pretty cheesy, but I don't really know what else to call it. And I just want to share my experience, my thoughts, and hopefully give you some motivation along the way with cleaning, decluttering, keeping up with your home. And so for this video, I'm mostly just doing like a full house reset and bringing you along, but rather than doing speedy montage type cleaning video, I thought I would do a voiceover with some intentions for the year that have to do with being a stay at home mom and homemaking. And I hope that you guys enjoy this style of video. One thing I've shared in previous videos and I'll continue to push is that I do not do my housework and house cleaning during my kids naps. I really cherish that time for me time for rest and break time. And also I've seen so many benefits by having my kids help with chores around the house or at least see me doing it. And one of those that's not as obvious because it's not necessarily teaching them to clean or teaching them to help, but they actually play better independently while I'm doing housework rather than just like trying to sit and read or sit and scroll my phone or do something else. They definitely like figure out quickly that I'm working on what I need to work on and they can play and entertain themselves or they can step in and help me. They can follow me around the house or they can hang out in their playroom. And I think that's a huge benefit of doing that kind of housework and doing the chores around them as well as of course them seeing how you clean and that it does take work to keep up your home. I love the idea of like a power hour cleaning during naps. Um, and I know that can be really helpful and motivating for other people, but that's just not the way I choose to do it in my home and it doesn't work great for me. I like to have that uh, me time to be able to do things that I can't really do with the kids around, which sometimes is honestly just sitting on the couch watching TV. Pure Comfy reached out to me and wanted to gift me these crib sheets and they actually have other products as well like sleep sacks and other great sleep products so they are on Amazon and I'll link everything down below but I picked crib sheets because I never got some for River that are pink and beautiful so I'm super excited for these new ones. Should we go put it in your bed? Like you always do. You want to help me? So these sheets are the bamboo crib sheets. They're premium soft fitted crib sheets and they are organic. Um, these are really stretchy so they 
It's interesting, honestly, how the material works because it's really stretchy and easily fits over the crib mattress and then like wraps all the way around so it's extra deep and super big but then it's not like loose fitting where it moves around or um like would be a safety issue at all it's just kind of like the perfect material it's so soft i wish i had sheets like this because they're really really nice oh i want you now Come and get you. Come here, so silly. Mm. <laughs> okay, baby. Um, we gotta put it on your bed. Um, you're so silly. I got my dad. Okay, you wanna help me? Oh, I'm heavy. I'm so excited to actually have really nice sheets for my baby girl and to have pretty pink ones that match her room makes it especially fun and I just feel like her room has like come together um, and the sheets seriously make a difference because the other sheets I had were like black. I have one set that's gray and white but even those like it's just nothing close to these beautiful pink ones so they're very like lightweight and uh, just a really soft nice material i wish you could feel them because it's seriously like butter um and river was so excited she wanted to like play in her bed and it was super fun it's so pretty pink bed Another intention I didn't really think I had, but I'm slowly figuring out what it means to me is slow living. I guess that would be the term for it. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram and YouTube talking about this. And at first I didn't really think it was something for me because I, I just think it's something that's loosely defined and can look different for different people. I've seen it go hand in hand with minimalism. And for me, I think what it means is I really do want to just let my kids be. Um, so if I'm on a time crunch and trying to get things done and trying to go places, I definitely notice the pushback and the tantrums and the problems. Whereas this day when we're just cleaning and slowly doing it, letting the kids just jump on the bed and play with the sheets and enjoy their time. It was so easy. They were helpful and I just really appreciated that. Obviously, uh, we can't control how our kids will respond and we also can't be a slave to that. But I just think uh, for me mentally, if I'm trying to get things done, trying to get things done rather than just um, like slowly doing things as I'm able and giving myself that time to live a little bit slower, I get stressed out and it's a problem for me um, more so than my kids. So just trying to enjoy the moment. Uh, that's obviously a big thing that people talk about in motherhood. And there are so many challenges and complications that it's just funny to see those things like, oh, it's going to go by so fast and you have to cherish every moment and blah, 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 honestly. Um, but I do just enjoy taking the time with the kids to get on their level and do things that I am trying to check off my list, but I'm doing it over weeks at a time. Like we're already into the, what, third, fourth week of the year. It's not the beginning anymore. And I'm just now sitting down to talk through my intentions and that's okay. So here we're rotating out books in Asher's room. This is the first time we did that in a very long time. And then we just had a really nice time reading books together and enjoying our time together, which I have been trying to break the uh, screen time. So TV time habit from after sickness, because while they were sick, we did a lot of just sitting on the couch watching movies. I tried to not do it too much, and it's kind of a hard subject to talk about. I never want to make people feel uh, like I'm judging them for their screen time choices or um, any kind of condemnation, guilt, anything like that, because I think everyone just has to decide for themselves what they're okay with, what they think is right for their kids and their home and their situation. For me, I just have this strong urge to not have TV on, which is interesting and honestly almost hypocritical because I do really enjoy TV time as well. Like I uh, enjoy 
taking my break time to have the screens on because I'm deprived of them throughout the day with my kids. But I just don't want to cripple their creativity and independence. And I don't know, when I look at them and they're staring at the TV screen and they're just so like enthralled by it and so sucked into it and they don't respond right away when I'm talking to them and they just sit there and stare. I think all kids are so different. My kids get really, I don't know, like zoned out and zoned in to the TV. Whereas some kids will just keep playing while the TV's on or want to get up and move around. My kids do not. Um, so I don't know. I, I just think that's something that I'm trying to um, figure out what the right boundaries are and maybe it's you know a time limit but I think it's more just what I feel in the moment and not having guilt and problems around it for myself because I think I've made it too much of a big deal in the past this video is really interesting I'm honestly just like speaking to a friend basically and trying to figure out I I like process out loud so I don't know I just have a lot going on in my mind but trying to just figure out one step at a time what's best for me and my family and my kids and also like talking that through with my husband making sure we're on the same page and that's the same with discipline and so many different things I think I'll do a video soon talking about gentle parenting as a Christian mom uh, I've heard different podcasts about it and watched different videos and I have a lot of thoughts and opinions um, because we do a hybrid of all sorts of different parenting and discipline and I think that's what a lot of families do. I don't think most people stick to one strict uh, philosophy, I guess. I don't know. But here I'm just making the bed has nothing to do with my kids discipline but I just thought I would share my thoughts as we're going into the new year these aren't even like resolutions but when I think of the word intentions it's more just like I have these mindset shifts so the way I'm looking at parenting is a little bit different the way I'm looking at taking care of my home is a little bit different I want to do those deep cleaning projects so I'll have some of those videos coming up soon I mean I literally have not even cleaned my shower I don't think since moving into this house which is terrible so I like to keep things looking tidy and clean but I do not do a lot of actual deep cleaning and I want to get better about that this year I want to get better about um, having my kids get outside so I'm following the thousand hours outside challenge on Instagram and uh, it's been freezing here like below zero temperatures um, but I know that in the summer it'll come back around that's why it's a year challenge it's not day by day you don't have to be outside multiple hours um, but and it's not even about like hitting a certain challenge again with the intention versus like resolution I feel like it's more just having those healthier habits that you start to slowly implement and that's what will make it habitual rather than keeping yourself to a strict resolution and goal that you have to hit this and then you could feel bad about it and whatever I don't know so yes this has been so 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 much talking I am working on laundry it is a daily task we're always doing laundry but luckily this is one that really doesn't bother me I think it's so funny because everyone has their things I really do not enjoy doing dishes uh, we use the dishwasher and we basically run it every night and I don't really mind like unloading it it's tedious it's not enjoyable um, but I really just <laughs> despise touching wet dirty dishes to put in the dishwasher or to actually like clean by hand I really don't like that whereas some of my friends they're fine with dishes but they really don't like laundry laundry for me is like it's not a big deal to have to fold the laundry and put it away um, which I never used to do all the laundry myself and like fold all my husband's clothes and take care of them until I became a stay-at-home mom. Um, I mostly did the laundry but I didn't have any kind of good 
habits around it or routines and now I'm pretty good about it as soon as our laundry basket is full I run a load that's most days but I don't stick to I have to do it every day and then towels and sheets are just kind of when I feel like it I don't have a strict schedule to things and I'm okay with that there's some things I want to start uh, implementing a schedule and doing more often around the house like maybe dusting and mopping things like that but when it comes to laundry I already have a pretty good handle on that so um, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video I don't know how you guys feel about this style of me just kind of ranting and chatting and talking with you but I'm super excited for a fresh start with the new year and just different mindset changes. Um, I am a Christian mom. I was born and raised Christian. I'm so grateful for that and I want to implement and impart that into my children. So that's going to shape this channel in the future. That's going to shape my future videos. Uh, again, I want to talk about like parenting and discipline in the future. I want to continue to share clean with me's and vlogs like day in my life week in my life and then I also am going to be talking more and more about different subjects that I just care deeply about so if you haven't yet I'd love for you to subscribe and I will see you next time bye